Detective Elodie Dupont stood before the grand entrance of the Musée d'Orsay, her eyes fixed on the empty space where a priceless Impressionist painting had once hung. The theft had been swift, leaving the museum's security baffled and the city in shock. Beside Elodie, her partner inspector, Luke Moreau, surveyed the scene with a thoughtful frown. The thief had to be well prepared, Luke mused, his analytical mind already at work. They knew exactly how to bypass the alarms and cameras. Elodie nodded, her heart heavy with both frustration and intrigue, and the clue they left behind. She pointed to a small piece of paper, carefully propped up on the spot where the painting once adorned. The note bore a cryptic message. A brush with the past holds the key to the future. It's like a puzzle, Elodie murmured, her eyes scanning the surroundings for any hidden meanings. A brush could refer to the artist, but which one? And the past and the future, what could it mean? Luke's gaze settled on Elodie, observing the intensity in her expression. He knew her passion for art ran deep, and he respected her expertise. But as a man of facts and evidence, he couldn't help but feel uneasy about the enigmatic clue. We'll need to collaborate with art historians, he suggested, attempting to ground the investigation in concrete leads. Elodie nodded in agreement, appreciating Luke's practical approach. Let's gather all the available information about the stolen painting and the artist, she said, and see if we can unravel this mystery together. As they walked back to their car, the echoes of the museum's hallowed halls filled their thoughts. The heist had marked the beginning of an intricate and captivating chase that would challenge their partnership and lead them into the depths of the art world's secrets. The pursuit of the elusive art thief had begun, and Paris braced itself for an unforgettable investigation that would test the limits of justice and passion. Back at the bustling police station, Elodie and Luke huddled around a cluttered desk, surrounded by case files and photographs of the stolen painting. The atmosphere crackled with a mix of tension and determination as they dove into deciphering the cryptic clue. Elodie traced her finger along the edges of the note, her mind racing with possibilities. A brush with the past. It could be referring to the artist's early works or influences, she mused. Luke leaned over, studying the note intently and holds the key to the future might imply a significant shift in the artist's style or subject matter, he added, deep in thought. Their approaches diverged, but it was precisely this contrast that often led to breakthroughs in their investigations. Elodie's intuitive leaps paired with Luce's meticulous analysis had proved to be a formidable combination in the past. I'll reach out to art historians and see if anyone can shed light on the artist's influences in progression. Elodie suggested, taking charge of the artistic angle. Meanwhile, Luke immersed himself in the technical aspects of the crime. I'll check the museum's security logs and cross, reference them with visitors and staff who were present during the heist, he said, jotting down notes. As the night wore on, the detectives exchanged findings and theories, piecing together the puzzle with each new detail. Their mutual respect and trust in each other's abilities bridged the gap between their differing perspectives. After hours of exhaustive research, a breakthrough emerged. Elodie discovered that the stolen painting was one of the artist's earliest masterpieces, marked by a dramatic shift in style from the traditional to the groundbreaking. Luce, on the other hand, unearthed a peculiar visitor in the security logs a mysterious man who had spent an unusually long time near the stolen painting on the day of the heist. Excitement tinged with exhaustion washed over them as they reconvened at the cluttered desk. Together, they pieced the information like a well-coordinated dance, weaving a clearer picture of the art thief's motivations. The investigation was far from over, but this initial breakthrough set the course for their pursuit of the elusive thief. As Elodie and Luke left the police station with a newfound determination, they knew that the chase would only intensify. United in purpose and driven by their passion for justice, the detectives prepared to venture deeper into the enigmatic world of art heists and unravel the threads connecting the stolen masterpieces to the heart of Paris. In the dimly lit alleyways of Paris, Elodie and Luke 
met with a shady informant known for his connections to the criminal underworld. The smell of rain, soaked cobblestones mingled with the tension in the air as they leaned against the graffiti. We're looking for information about a possible art forger, Elodie said, her voice low and steady. The informant, known simply as Jacques, eyed them warily. Art forgeries, that's a risky business, he replied cautiously. Luz interjected, his tone measured and authoritative. We know you have contacts in that world. We need to find out who's behind the forgeries. Jacques hesitated, then gave a subtle nod. All right, I've heard whispers about a guy who's been supplying high quality fakes to wealthy art collectors. Word is, he's connected to a network dealing in stolen art. Elodie's heart raced at the revelation. The pieces were starting to fall into place. Do you know where we can find him? She pressed. Jacques shook his head. He's elusive, but I can give you a lead. There's an underground gallery that deals in shady transactions. You might find some answers there. The detectives thanked Jacques and headed for the underground gallery, guided by a mix of hope and caution. The gallery's entrance was discreet, hidden away from the prying eyes of the world above. Inside, they were met with a scene that seemed to defy the boundaries of legality. Paintings of questionable origin adorned the walls, and hushed conversations filled the air. Elodie's stomach churned as she recognized some stolen masterpieces amongst the forgeries. Luke's keen eye caught sight of a man who matched Jacques' description, the alleged art forger. As they discreetly trailed him, they noticed the thief's interactions with a wealthy art collector who had previously reported a stolen artwork. A plan formed in Elodie's mind. She knew that exposing the forger and his connections could lead them closer to the art thief's identity. They trailed the forger to a dimly lit room at the back of the gallery. With their heart rates quickening, Elodie and Lou prepared to make their move. In the heart of the underground gallery, the detectives would uncover hidden betrayals, setting the stage for a deeper infiltration into the intricate web of art theft and forgery. With each step they took, the investigation veered towards a dangerous yet thrilling path, one that would test their skills, their bond, and their resolve to bring the elusive art thief to justice. As the night wore on, Elodie found herself unable to shake the weight of her emotions after the events of the day. She sat alone in her small, dimly lit apartment, surrounded by art books and sketches her late father had left behind. The stolen painting's absence gnawed at her heart, triggering memories of her father's passion for art. She picked up a faded sketchbook and traced the delicate lines of her father's artwork. His face, etched in her mind, reminded her of the dreams he had once shared with her. Dreams cut short by illness. Elodie fought back tears. Her emotions entwined with her relentless pursuit of justice. The loud knock on the door startled her, pulling her back to reality. She opened it to find Luke standing there, concern etched on his face. Elodie, are you all right? Luke asked gently, stepping into the room. Elodie managed a faint smile, trying to push away her inner turmoil. I'm fine, just thinking about the case, she replied not wanting to burden her partner with her personal struggles. Luke's penetrating gaze told her that he saw through her facade. Elodie, we're a team. You can talk to me, he said, his voice soft but resolute. With a deep sigh, Elodie surrendered to her emotions. She spoke about her father, the memories, and how each stolen masterpiece rekindled the pain of his loss. I can't help but feel that protecting the stolen art is also protecting a part of my father, she confessed. Her vulnerability laid bare. Luke listened attentively, understanding the depth of Elodie's connection to the case. He reached out and placed a comforting hand on her shoulder. In that moment, Elodie realized the strength of their partnership extended beyond solving crimes. Luke's support was a beacon of reassurance a reminder that she didn't have to carry the weight of her emotions alone. As the night wore on, Elodie and Luke sat side by side, sharing stories about their lives and aspirations. The barriers between them crumbled and a profound sense of camaraderie filled the room. 
in this intimate moment of emotional connection. Elodie found solace in Luce's understanding and friendship. They were not just colleagues thrown together by a case. They were partners bound by a shared purpose and a genuine affection for one another. From that moment on, Elodie knew that no matter the challenges they faced, they would confront them together, drawing strength from their bond and unwavering dedication to the pursuit of justice. As dawn broke over the city of art and mystery, Elodie felt a newfound sense of resilience, ready to face the world and the elusive art thief with an unyielding spirit. High above the streets of Montmartre, the iconic Sacra Coeur Basilica stood like a sentinel, its majestic domes reaching towards the heavens. Elodie and Luke climbed the spiral staircase, their steps echoing through the quiet morning air. Their hearts pounded in anticipation as they approached the rooftop, the place where the art thief had challenged them to a showdown. As they emerged onto the rooftop, the sight that greeted them was breathtaking. The city of Paris sprawled before them, bathed in the soft hues of the rising sun. Yet, amidst this beauty, a sense of tension and danger lingered. In the distance, the art thief stood with their back to the detectives, gazing out at the city they had so cunningly targeted. Elodie's eyes locked onto the thief, a mix of anger and fascination stirring within her. She couldn't help but admire the thief's audacity and intelligence, even as she understood the havoc they had wreaked on Paris. I knew you'd come. The thief's voice carried a sense of smug confidence as they turned to face Elodie and Lou. You've caused enough chaos, Elodie retorted, her voice steady. It's time to put an end to this. The thief smirked, raising an eyebrow. Or what? You'll arrest me. There's more at stake here than you can comprehend. Lou stepped forward, his expression resolute. Your motives are not enough to justify your actions, he declared, stealing art to make a statement. It's a dangerous game you're playing. The thief's eyes flashed with intensity, their belief in their cause unshaken. I'm not just stealing art. I'm exposing the corruption plagues the art world. Wealthy collectors hoarding masterpieces, using them as mere investments while art lovers are denied access to their own heritage. Melody's heart wavered, torn between the thief's passion and the consequences of their actions. There are other ways to challenge the system, to make a difference, she argued, her voice tinged with emotion. The rooftop showdown became a battle of ideals, each side unwavering in their convictions. As the dialogue intensified, the city below held its breath, the world of art and justice poised on the precipice. In this climactic confrontation, Elodie and Luke faced the embodiment of their investigation, the enigmatic art thief. Each word exchanged on the rooftop held the power to determine the fate of the stolen masterpieces and the thief's legacy. The sun rose higher, casting its warm glow over the city. As the shadows of doubt and determination clashed, the true impact of the art thief's actions came to light. In this moment, Elodie and Luke grappled with their own beliefs, seeking the balance between justice and passion and the complexities of right and wrong. The rooftop showdown would become a defining moment, shaping the resolution of their pursuit. As they stood amidst the beauty of Paris, Elodie and Lou knew that the ultimate test awaited their paths converging with the elusive art thieves in a final, poignant act of the captivating pursuit. A pursuit that would forever alter the city, the art world, and their lives. Weeks had passed since the rooftop showdown, and the echoes of the chase still reverberated through the streets of Paris. Elodie and Luke stood before the iconic Musée du Louvre, where the stolen masterpieces had been returned under the cover of night. The air crackled with a mix of relief and melancholy. The art thief had vanished, leaving behind only a note expressing their intention to cease their heists. As the detectives studied the words on the paper, they knew that the enigmatic figure would forever remain a mystery. Even though they're gone, their message will echo through the art world, Elodie murmured, her gaze fixed on the Louvre's majestic facade. Luke nodded understanding the impact of the thief's actions. It's changed the way people perceive art and its value, he remarked. 
a hint of admiration in his voice. The city of Paris had been irrevocably touched by the thief's pursuit of justice. The stolen masterpieces had been returned, igniting conversations about art's place in society. The cultural heritage of the city had been rekindled in the hearts of its people, transcending monetary worth. As Elodie and Luke shared a silent moment of reflection, their partnership stood stronger than ever. They had faced challenges that tested their ideals, their bond, and their resolve to uphold justice. Through it all, their mutual respect and shared pursuit of truth had remained unwavering. We made a difference, Elodie said softly, her eyes shining with conviction. Even in the face of an elusive thief, we found the art, we protected the heritage, and we brought awareness to the world. Luke smiled, acknowledging the significance of their work. And it's not just about the art, he added. It's about preserving the essence of culture and history the stories that live within each brushstroke. As they turned away from the Louvre, Elodie and Lou knew that their journey as detectives would continue. The world of crime was vast and ever, changing, but their partnership had proven its resilience. They walked side by side through the city's streets, ready to face whatever mysteries and challenges awaited them. In the heart of Paris, Elodie and Luke knew that their shared passion for justice and the pursuit of truth would forever bind them together, a partnership that had been forged amidst art heists and museum mysteries, and one that would continue to shape the path of justice in the captivating city of Paris.